Well, this is a good start to the video, isn't it? Welcome to Simu UK, where uh, we take uh, simulation to the next level of uh, realism. And uh, I'm a consummate pro professional YouTuber. I don't make mistakes. I only do awesome stuff. Hello guys, welcome back to Simu UK. This is of course Euro Truck Simulator 2. I'm really happy I went with that green. That looks flipping awesome. I'm loving that. Does look pretty amazing, I've got to say. Okay guys, so we've got an email here. Let's just take a quick look. Drivers with own equipment needed. Yeah. We are looking for skilled drivers with their own trucks or a large number of deliveries. We offer a competitive raise up to 5800 for a job. Please, if you have your own vehicle, inquire directly at our dock in Barry. Cool. So, uh, where are we, first of all? Let me just get my bearings. We are in Bari. Cool. So we went to Napoli. I remember doing that. We got the truck, which is pretty awesome. So now we kind of want to head down here, down towards Messina, so we can have a look at all this southern, um, southern Italy, or south Italy, southern Italy, whatever. Uh, so yeah, let's see if we can pick anything up from the Bari docks. Nope, we've been there. Cantazaro, and well, that's heading in the right direction. Oil filters, well, that's not very exciting. No, that's going the wrong way. So it looks like we're going to Cantazaro today. Excellent, we'll set that as the GPS. And I've got the winter mod running. Fantastic. I did have this running in the last episode, but it didn't flip in work. Right. So let me just say. Let me just say that I have been running Fernbus Coach Simulator. Or playing. I thought I hit something then. I have been playing Fernbus Coach Simulator. So, uh. I've also got uh, winter physics on, so it's going to be a bit slippy and slidey, so I'm going to have to be proper careful today. But Merry Christmas to you all, of course. Um, I have just been playing Phone Bus Coach Simulator just before making this video, so I'm a little bit out of sync at this moment in time. For example, I almost forgot that I had gears, because in Phone Bus Coach Simulator, obviously, I'm running an automatic. Um, but yeah. Am I going the wrong way on this road? Is this a dual carriageway and I'm going the wrong way? I'm a bit concerned. I don't know if I, if I am going the right way or the wrong way. I think I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. We're good. That sat-nav is tiny. <clears throat> Incidentally, guys, I did say that I was going to get a bigger monitor, and I have got a 27-inch monitor now. The cheapest one I could find. It's, um, what is it? It's an Acer something or other. I can't see the box properly from here. Uh, I haven't opened it yet, but I've been asked uh, to uh, do an unboxing of the very exciting, very cheap Acer 27-inch monitor. So I will do. I will do an unboxing, because I've yet to install it. So at the moment, I am still running on my... 24 inch monitor which is like miles away from my face so um, it's really really tricky to see that sat nav now in, a, in an ideal world and this is how I used to play uh, Euro Truck Simulator back in the days before, YouTube, before I made YouTube videos Ooh, speedo uh, yeah I used to because I've got three monitors, I used to have all three running, so I forget what you call that, but um, yeah, it was running across all three screens, which was bloody awesome, because it really, really feels realistic when you do that. And I'm thinking in the future, maybe, rather than just recording the gameplay footage that I've got here, maybe I should just have a camera in the background, so you can see all my wheel and my 
buttons and everything but also you'll be able to see all three screens I don't know how you feel about that because obviously if I try and record all three screens then I'm going to have the rather serious issue um, or rather you're going to have the rather serious issue of, of what resolution can you watch it in it's going to look awfully weird if you try and watch three scre screens wide um, in a 1080 perspective so uh, yeah I mean take that into consideration how the heck do I zoom in on my uh, oh I'm not going right there oh this is the port oh we've been here yes I recall now we picked something up from here before didn't we it's got that rather tight entrance seems a bit weird fuel station. Oh, that's a good point, actually. How are we doing for fuel? I think we need fuel, don't we? Crikey, look at my fuel situation. Let's go do that first. Oh, let's put the handbrake on. Maybe I can um, figure out. Oh, annoyingly, my um, oh, we need to sleep though. I am tired. Oh, God. <laughs> got the handbrake on. That was a bit embarrassing. Okay, so, um, what was I saying? I don't know, I'm completely distracted now. Oh, that's a bit tight. Yeah, we're stuck on that. Oh, crikey. My new truck! Well, this is a good start to the video, isn't it? Welcome to Sim UK, where uh, we take uh, simulation to the next level of uh, realism. And uh, I'm a consummate pro professional YouTuber. I don't make mistakes. I only do awesome stuff. Yeah. Welcome to Sim UK, where we play games badly. So I'm interested how these winter physics are going to affect me. Um, where the heck is this trailer? I think I'm really tired. I need to have a sleep. I also need to pick up this trailer. I don't know what's worse. Picking up the trailer and then falling asleep or going to sleep and not getting the trailer? Oh, that's going to be tight. We're all good in this particular hood. Oh, I love the docks. The docks are a bit complicated, but equally, they're pretty awesome. Quite realistic, I'd say. Right, Cantazaro. Offer expires in 11 hours and 43 minutes. So I could go for a nap, couldn't I? What's this thing mean? It just indicate that I've got my my uh, sat nav set to this. What are you doing over there? Weirdo. Uh, okay, right. So, how do I bring the map up? I've got a button set for the map somewhere. Is that it? That's it. Awesome. No, that's not it. That's the action button. Ah, here. Is that it? Oh, that's kind of it. So is there anywhere I can go to sleep, like right, yeah, right there. Literally behind me. Awesome.
grinding my gears. Just being impatient right now. <clears throat> okay, so where we just had uh, that fuel, and where uh, we had that slight incident, I think there's a, a place to kip, or so it seems. Speeding again, stop speeding. Because I've been playing firm bus. That's what I'm going to blame it on. Oh no, hang on. Right, it's getting annoying. How do I zoom in? I have set it up to a button, I just can't remember which one. Great, that's the stereo. You know, I can't. There it is. There it is. Right. Okay, Groovy. I can actually see what's flipping going on now. I mean, this is no good for. Uh, driving out on the main road, on the motorways or whatever, because I'll never see the turning in time. But when you're in a little town like this, this is kind of what you need. That is tight, that. On. It's sending me the sat nav is sending me down there, but I can't go down there. What is this sat nav doing? Honestly, so are you now telling me it is at the garage, or have you just not? I am so confused. I am so confused right now. Absolutely, completely confused. It is. It's... Oh, man, I thought I could get over there. That's just wrecked my truck a bit more, isn't it? Nice. I don't think I just hit something then as well. Oh, we're having a good start. Oh. Now what have I hit? There's nothing here. Oh, an invisible wall. Yeah, God, gotta love that. Flipping invisible walls. Right, so in here, there's somewhere to sleep. But I can't see anything because it's so snowy. There we go. I got it now, I got it now. Oh, and it's snowing. Awesome. It's snowing, guys. That's great news. I'm really happy about that. I love snow. Fantastic. I'm going to enjoy this drive. I really am.
Did we slide a bit there? Kind of felt like we did. Alrighty. Oil filters to Cantazaro. Take the job. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Now, now, I like this. We've got to now go find our trailer. Which is kind of cool. Aha! I see ya. <laughs> oh god, did anyone else spot that before I got there? As I was rolling up to it, I was thinking, looks a bit weird that truck. It's like, uh, it must be like um, an illusion. I was thinking, it's like I can't see underneath the truck. <laughs> Yeah, and for those of you who still haven't figured it out, I just <laughs> just tried to load the trailer up backwards. So the back of the trailer is to the front of the trailer. That was quite funny. I mean, I did just I, I did say before the video started, I've just been playing Fern Bus, so I'm a bit out of sync. But I mean, come on. That's taking it to a whole new level, isn't it? Let's try and line this little baby up. First time. Little bit of a helping hand there, but we're good. Now, what button did I bind to? Oh, that was a good guess. Okay, guys. Here we go. Christmas everybody. Merry Christmas.
Cheers, fella. Whoa. Not sure if perhaps that was the uh, the winter physics mod kicking in there because I seem to slide all across the road there without any particular reason for explaining it. Flipping sat nav is so small. Roll on bigger monitor. I cannot figure out my windscreen wipers. I'm sure this is off. But they're not turning off. Is it just one button? So you just keep pressing windscreen wipers until they turn off. Okay, I got it now. mod is effective isn't it goodness me sort this uh, list of music out.
speeding. Goodness me. How did that happen? Everything looks better in snow, don't you think? I've heard from some of you, um, <clears throat> some of the viewers who, uh, who have actually lived in Italy and they say that it's very authentic what they're seeing here. Really good authentic uh, representation which is fantastic. I mean that's exactly, that's exactly what SCS are trying to achieve is that sort of authentic look. Seems like they're doing a fantastic job. Maybe later. This one always reminds me of um, Strawberry Fields. <clears throat> The beginning does anyway. Ah, this is a good one. More in keeping with what we're doing here. Hope you're enjoying these external views, guys. I think one of the greatest things about Euro Truck Simulator is, is how amazing the trucks look. <clears throat> Especially with the backdrop as awesome as this. Oh, there was a speedo there, but I didn't see what it said.
speeding again. Gosh darn it. Captain Zardo, that's our destination guys. Wow, look at this, this looks awesome. a long tunnel again look at the scenery over there some awesome buildings All looks pretty awesome, veering all over the road. Get back inside for the moment. Gonna definitely have to upgrade that sat nav, it's too small, way too small barely see a thing. Right, something's happening here. We're coming off it seems.
Everything looks better in snow. Catanzaro, Catanzaro, Catanzaro. Don't know how to say it. Apologies if I butchered that. <clears throat> Not intentional. Oh wow, that's I'm feeling that. Wakes on. Should have been slowing down a bit quicker than I did there. Open. Hello. Wonder if I can back her in from here. If the camera doesn't change, I might be able to. It'll be the first time I've ever done it though, so bear with me. It's not the best start, is it? No, I'm not lined up here, by the way. I'm basically turning around. It's really tricky to see the lines. It's actually harder doing it this way, for me anyway, than uh, doing it in cab.
Oh God, what am I doing here? I think I'm going to have to go in cab and do this. I don't think I'm going to be able to recover this. I might be able to. If she sits straight right now. Oh, it's not a good one, but it's in. Job completed. Excellent. And that was excellent, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I did. I had a lot of fun. We've leveled up. We're now a newbie. I love being a newbie. excellent stuff okay guys well thank you so much for watching sim uk merry christmas to you happy new year if i don't see you before then and uh take care of yourselves till next time goodbye